Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a what if scenario for Ninjago. And that of course is what if Lloyd was still a child during the entire Ninjago saga. So of course, if you guys have been with Ninjago since the beginning, you would know that Lloyd was introduced within the first season of the show as kind of a young child, obviously the son of Garmadon, but he was more known for causing mischief. Then when his destiny to be the green ninja was revealed to him, he started training along Alongside the ninja, and he eventually got aged up due to a magical tea given to him by Mistake. And naturally, since he aged up, he was the same age as the other ninja, and his powers were able to better flow throughout his body, and he was better able to control his elemental powers. But what if he was still a child at the time of fighting the Overlord and all throughout Ninjago? Well, I do feel like that would have made his character very different. For one, I'm not sure if he could have physically battled the Overlord if he was still a very small child, because again, that type of power was not stable enough within his his body, and that's kind of the reason why he was aged up in the first place. Of course, not within the context of the TV series, but when Lloyd was kind of designed, I have a feeling that he was designed with the intent to age him up from the beginning. That way his power could better naturally manifest within his body, and he would be able to take on threats like the Overlord and everything else that he fought later on in the series. I don't feel like Lloyd being a child would have been a good thing because I don't feel like he could have, I guess, maintained his destiny, if that makes sense. It was always his destiny to go ahead and age up and if he was still a child, he would not have been able to go ahead and face off against the many threats that he has had throughout Ninjago's history. It just would not have worked. But let's just go ahead and say, for example, that he could maintain his elemental powers even though he was still a child. How would that have made his character any different? Well, for example, he probably would not be the leader of the ninja team. I have a feeling they would have aged him up in between season 7 and 8 anyway. Say, for example, he was still a child all throughout Hands of Time and then in Sons of Garmadon. A year had passed since Hands of Time had ended, and he he probably would have been a little older, but he wouldn't be as older. When Lloyd aged up, he didn't age just a year. He aged many years, and if he would have just stayed a child, he would still be a child in the modern day, and he would not be able to lead the ninja team. Having Lloyd be aged up was a very, very good thing for his character, and again, I can't really imagine an alternative timeline where Lloyd was still a child. It just would not work for his character. There's no way that he would have been the leader of the ninja team because the ninja would probably refuse to follow him because he's still a kid. He's not that wise yet. When Lloyd was aged up, he was able to better control his powers and better control his mindset. And I feel like that's a very important aspect of his character that a lot of people are missing. If Lloyd was still a child, he would be a very different character. And at least that's just my opinion on it. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. What do you think would happen if Lloyd still remained a child? Leave all your thoughts down below, and I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.